I don't know how well you can see that, but isn't nature just beautiful? This is part four of raising monarch butterflies. And what you want to do at this point, and the reason why I'm not getting in there to show you, is that you do not want to move this lid. You do not want to disturb the cocoon, as that may cause it to die. Yeah, you can see in this case, this butterfly has hung itself on the actual lid and not on any of the um, debris in here. That's probably the most common place. And there's really nothing you have to do at this point. Just do not disturb the lid. Do not disturb the jar. Do not, you don't need to feed it, right? It's in there, it's doing its thing. Check the description for links to buy mason jars like these ones so you can raise your own monarch butterflies. And stay tuned for part five, which is when these will hatch.